Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests are on a mission to get young people everywhere to embrace their natural hair and stand up for their right to redefine what beauty is to them. Absolutely. Please welcome the creator of the Melanin and Coils Natural Hair Show, Anthony, and also her daughter, Scarlett. Well, Sharon. Anthony. 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 Sharon, Sharon, Anthony. Sharon. Sharon. Let's see, they had Sharon in the white, but that's okay. <laughs> Sharon. 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 Anthony. Sharon, nice Hi, to girl. meet you, and yes. thank you so much for joining us here thank at the you Circle. Thank yes. you This both. is awesome. Just yeah. Absolutely yeah, beautiful people. Guys. So let's talk about this natural hair movement. I mean, you know, I my daughters are natural. They embrace okay. their beautiful mm -hmm. hair. Love my daughter's it. like, I want my hair big and curly for her yes. birthday party, September the 4th, 14th. But a lot of people are still slow to come mm -hmm. over to mm -hmm. the other side. And I have, I've toiled with it too. I um, get it. You know, get so it. why do you think that there's still a lag in the movement? You but I why? think, but it's, but it's been great too. It's been a boom. I At see the, the shift. Time. Yeah, I see the shift. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, recently I went into a DMV. There were about 18 employees in there, black women, and all of them were rocking their natural yes. hair. It blew me away. It took me back a little bit. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I, I, and I was so inspired. But um, one of the things that happens when you wear your hair natural as a black person, you get dismissed a little bit. Oh. Um, I think now, because there's a movement and we're seeing more and more of us wearing our hair natural, now I think more people, when they see us walk down the street, they're like, she's bad. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at her rocking mm -hmm. it. You know, right. but they're slow. Some of our old schoolers, some mm -hmm. of our old school mothers, grandmothers, aunties, they still teach their kids. This is one yeah. thing I, I was told. Now you're ready to go to church or now you're ready for Easter because I've finished Pressed your, your pressing your hair. Mm -hmm. right, right. You know, I've all, I have four daughters oh, and yes. I teach them all. Mm -hmm. You're ready. See this afro right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, as long as your outfit's straight, you're right. ready. You're, you're rocking ready. it. Let's go. Yes, you, yes, you, you God. You talked mm -hmm. about the idea of what we grew up um, thinking. You know, you now your hair is pressed. You have a person mm -hmm. call them in a jar or whatever. You're ready. And we still see this in mainstream right now yeah. in the mainstream industry just telling us, you know, what's appropriate to wear, you know, in the workplace or what's appropriate for our children to wear at school. Why is it important for us to address address those issues and have them to see us in our natural beauty. I can tell you, I mean, it is very important that we take a stand as a people just like they do. Mm. We are the most dominant race that um, compromises on who we are. Yeah. Like, now, we're very versatile. So one day we might have our hair in an afro and another day in um, a press or mm -hmm. we might wear a wig. We're mm -hmm. just versatile and creative mm -hmm. like that. But I want us to get to where we don't let anybody else, because they're not compromising on who they are. Mm -hmm. And we have to look at that. We have to look and say, oh, you're not compromising on who you are. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna stay. As a matter of fact, I'm not sorry. I'm going to stay who I am. Yeah. And I'm a, if I want to rock my hair like this with some mm -hmm. bantus on the side, Come I'm going to do that. Um, if I want to rock the bantus all over or if I want to wear a, a straight wig hat, whatever I want to do, I'm going to just go ahead and do, do it. it. Yes. And I'm going to be proud to be black. Yes. I can't apologize for who I am. Right. Because then I can't live out my purpose. Mm -hmm. If you really know who you are, you can live your purpose and you can really be a blessing. That blessing that God meant for you to be to other people's lives. Right, That's right. Good. And you are a blessing to your daughters. And one Thank of them is you. here. Yes. Yes. Today, Scarlett. Scarlett. Let's talk about how you embraced this hair journey and talk a little bit about how you began. <laughs> well, I was natural all my life. We never like had perms or anything like that. But my mom like she just kind of let us ease into like what we like to do with our hair mm -hmm. like yeah um <laughs> i got i started doing my afros in a, around sixth seventh grade mm -hmm. and i noticed how people we're not used to seeing ourselves we're not used to seeing our peers um rocking their natural hair and being bold in it so at first people were like oh okay mm -hmm. and then they saw how i i wasn't letting anybody say anything like if they would say something i would be like well that looks bad on your part <laughs> All right. stuff like mm -hmm. that but um because you, yeah. you were bullied in school though yeah, because of like, your hair they would and like i would see bullying through other girls too mm -hmm. through myself like when you see other girls for doing um, their natural hair, 
you see how they're they're shunned mm -hmm. um and it's c just kind of like oh like i don't that's me right there right. Do, did it make you fearful when you when you decided to jump out there and say you know this is who i am yeah at first but then my mom she she's very intelligent yes yeah, she is and <laughs> <laughs> she, she told really, you how to handle them yeah she really helped us to know our history mm -hmm. where we come from our natural hair represents our past our right. present and, and our future, future. absolutely oh, and speaking of which melanin and coils natural hair show what melanin was the inspiration behind mm -hmm. creating this amazing space for us I had to do something about what I was seeing and not seeing. Mm -hmm. Like I would go to fashion shows and I'm like, okay, that's cute. Mm -hmm. But I, I needed something. I needed, to, well, I needed to give a stage to our melanin kids, mm -hmm. kids with various textures of hair. And I affectionately refer to them as our disputed beauties. Mm -hmm. That's the motto on melanin and coil hills. Mm -hmm. And so, I um I just wanted to provide a stage where we celebrate them yes. on September seventh. Yes. And when I tell you they rock in the stage, Come on. they <laughs> rock in my runway. Yes. I mean every segment is creative and over the top. We even have a social justice segment. Yes. Mm. So it's it's powerful. Good, good. Yeah, I know. And so are you. Thank you, thank, you. thank you for being who you are. Thank you for having us. Yes, and living out your dream. And thank you for being a supporter of the show as Absolutely. well. Oh, yes. I love you. Mom says she loves at home. We just don't see I, her. Yeah. Yes, I'm always laughing. Right. <laughs> to, have, to get more information about the Melanin and Coils Natural Hair Show, please follow Sharon on Instagram at Melanin and Coils ATL. Thank you so much, ladies, yes. for being Thank with us. Thank you for we'll having us. Right Scarlet.